My name is Lauren Enda and I'm a resident of Loveland. Like many residents, I'm concerned about the proposed parking garage and its effect on Loveland's heritage. The garage, if built, will change the very fabric and trajectory of our town. Once our heritage is destroyed by big city solutions like multi-level parking garages, we will never ever get it back. City Council has not initiated a referendum on the largest municipal project in Loveland's history, which makes many ask, why not? Concerns are based on the following. Number one, residents have not had a voice in this conversation. We will be forced to live with changes caused by the garage to Loveland's character and to the natural environment that we love and that attracts so many. Residents should vote on whether the project will proceed. If the location, design, or economics are unsuccessful, the garage will be a blight on our quaint downtown, degrading the town's ambience forever. Two, the Loveland parking situation has not been properly studied. No data exists that outlines whether additional parking is required, and if required, how many spaces are needed. The city has provided no evidence, other than anecdote, that parking is a $7 million issue. How can the council possibly come up with any solution, especially one that costs millions of dollars when the issue hasn't been properly defined? Three, neither has city council commissioned an environmental impact study. Paved surfaces are one of the major causes of flooding. Coupled with the increased number and severity of storms we are witnessing in Southwest Ohio, this garage could make runoff and flooding worse. Some towns are removing paved parking areas to increase green space, which absorbs water runoff, thereby decreasing the risk of flooding. Why has the council not taken the precaution of an environmental impact study to protect our downtown? Four. Cost estimates the city council is using could be grossly underestimated. There are no actual quotes. The firm who came up with the $7 million price tag call it an opinion, not a quote at all. Their opinion clearly states that they have no control over the cost of labor, materials, or equipment, or over the contractor's methods of determining prices. With the COVID pandemic, we have seen inflated costs and severe shortages everywhere. These costs would add even more to taxpayer burden. And council's new idea to use the $1.3 million coronavirus local fiscal recovery fund to help cover costs of this project is misguided at best. This fund is meant for, meant for and needed by businesses and loved ones who are actually struggling. Why is city council not using that money to help them instead? Five, the proposed garage is a permanent solution. Loveland is not a big city. The garage will sit empty for much of the year when it is raining, snowing, or cold, and when businesses are closed. However, the eyesore will not disappear just because no one is parked there. Accompanying lighting will be on 24-7, adding to light pollution that detracts from the beauty of our natural spaces. Six, there is no guarantee, data, or correlation that this garage will decrease traffic in the downtown area or that it will, will, will create and retain good paying jobs. Most of the traffic for Loveland will still traverse the downtown area from the west to access the garage. Only traffic from the north and east will access the garage without entering the downtown zone. It's a very expensive plan for unknown benefit to traffic abatement and job creation. I am not against additional parking. If studies indicate is required and other solutions are investigated, but most importantly, the residents are offered a referendum. I am against a burden placed on residents without their approval for a project that has not been properly evaluated for necessity, environmental impact, cost, job creation, or traffic abatement. Residents deserve to know what criteria were used to make this project a priority. Loveland is not and does not wish to be an urban center. The proposed garage will negatively and permanently alter the look and feel of Loveland's most prized asset, our natural historic downtown. I ask that council commission the necessary studies to protect our heritage. Once Loveland has information in place of conjecture and anecdote, then council should respect the citizens of Loveland enough to allow us to vote on the parking garage plan. Thank you.
Okay, we're good, we're gas. Yeah, we are. <laughs>